Hello, everyone. It is Mark Berman from TV Media Insights. It is Monday, August 27th. I would like to welcome you back to our daily video cast, and I hope everybody had a great weekend. Now, today is an actual anniversary for me. On this day, one year ago, was my first official day at Cross Media Works. This was right after Hurricane Irene. We had no electricity at home. There were no trains on the Long Island Railroad. I remember getting up and thinking, how will I get to work? This is my first new job in 12 years. Well, I did get here. I've had a very good first year. I've enjoyed it immensely. I want to thank everybody for reading TVMI. I'm looking forward to many, many years ahead. Now, this past weekend, we took our older daughter, Jackie, back up to school. She goes to the University of Albany. Anything I do in this lifetime, I think of television. So when we did that, I thought to myself, what good college dramas have aired over the course of television? There really have not been that many, but the one show that I remembered, and I hope you do as well, and if you remember this, you have a little snow on the roof, let's be honest. The Paper Chase, this aired on CBS Tuesday at 8 o'clock in the 78-79 season. It was based on the movie of the same name, and it featured um, John Houseman as Professor Kingsley, who wasn't all that nice. But it was a great scripted drama. Unfortunately, it faced Happy Days and Laverne and Shirley on ABC, and it got massacred. It only lasted one season, but PBS repeated it. And then a few years down the road, I think it was in 1983, this was unprecedented at the time, a very young Showtime picked up the paper chase for a second season. And I never saw those episodes, and I'm sure you didn't either. I wish somebody would repeat them. So the paper chase, I remember that show. I love thinking about classic television. Now, at present, we are now only four weeks away from the official start of the new TV season. Over the summer, as always, there's really not a lot to talk about. This summer will be remembered, of course, as the Summer Olympics on NBC, which proves that viewers will watch network television if there's something worthy to watch. Of course, you can't have the Summer Olympics every year, but it broke the record books on NBC. Then you had shows, a perennial summer favorites like America's Got Talent on NBC, Big Brother on CBS, The Bachelorette on ABC. They all still resonated. They were all down year to year, but they still have an audience. In terms of Howard Stern on America's Got Talent, he didn't help the show. The ratings were down. He didn't certainly hurt it, but he didn't help it. So bear in mind when you're here, here down the road, Howard Stern bragging that he helped America's Got Talent. He did not. Now, over at the CW, they have ordered a script for a show. They actually had eyed this back in 2008. They just couldn't get a deal with the studio going. And it is called, I'm looking at my cheat sheet, Wrecking Ball. It will feature a young man from a political family who loses an election and ends up teaming up with one of the young female volunteers from his campaign to run a law firm. They've ordered a script order, and it is called Wrecking Ball. Now, if you haven't played our cancellation clock contest and Douglas Pucci, the great Douglas Pucci put this together for us. I have a link on today's newsletter. Why don't you go in and tell us what shows you think will be canceled first. It's always fun to play that game. In the world of cable, there's a show on TLC you may have heard of. It's called Cheer Perfection. It aired this past January, I'm sorry, this past July as a one-hour special. Well, TLC has upgraded it to a series order. It will begin in December, and it focuses on the competitive world of all-star cheerleading. What will they think of next in the world of reality television? I mean, really, what is next? Over at GSN, there's a new show called The American Bible Challenge, hosted by Jeff Foxworthy. We remember Jeff from his stint on Are You Smarter Than a fifth grader. That premiered with 1.73 million viewers, which was a record opening on GSN. I'm always happy to talk about shows of an inspirational nature that do well, and this is a game show that is definitely inspirational. Now, I am effective tomorrow afternoon heading off to um, Lancaster, Pennsylvania for some r and Love it up there. So this will be the final video cast until after Labor Day. I will have a newsletter for you tomorrow, but the video cast will take a breather effective today. And I want to thank you all for joining me. I hope everybody has a great day, and I will be back with more news about my favorite medium, television, on Tuesday, September 4th. Have a great, great long holiday weekend this coming weekend. Signing off, Mark Burke.